How does an awakened person deal with a fallout compared to a non-awakened person? A non-awakened person, when they fall out, they fall out and they look to what the other person did as the basis upon which they are justified in walking away and they're justified in whatever else they decided to do as a result of this, whether it was a reaction. An awakened person will look to the fallout, not about them, in terms of if the other person had said something, but you know that how others perceive you is about them. Secondly, the awakened person will know if in the event that the awakened person has been triggered, that that trigger that has happened inside of us is about us, is not about the other person. The trigger is not the problem. The problem is what inside of me needs healing so much so that I have attracted this trigger which has brought about this particular emotion for me to deal with. So the awakened person will always look to themselves as the answer to this. The non-awakened person dealing with the fallout is always going to be able to be influenced by others around them, by others, whether it's even uh, media, by something, everything outside of them. So they look to something outside for an answer. Whereas an awakened person looks only to themselves for an answer. Even about the fallout, they will always see the bigger picture in all of this. They see it not just as a physical occurrence, but that there is something here. The non-awakened person in a fallout is pretty much going to become judgmental. The awakened person wouldn't think of judging. The awakened person maintains the status quo. The awakened person maintains their neutral stance. On the other hand, if you're not awakened but are going through an awakening and your pain body is right up to the surface, then chances are that there will be an overlap in the way that you're responding to a fallout or responding to a bitter relationship, right? But eventually you will still look to yourself for the answer and you will be looking to change your vibe so that what you attract is exactly that which you want. A non-awakened person will not look to change their vibe. They will not look within themselves and they will not have the commitment that an awakening or an awakened person has towards their spiritual growth or towards their self-growth. The non-awakened person will simply live a life that is based on self-reference, meaning whatever is happening outside of me is what I am. Whereas the person that is awakened or awakening will know that whatever vibe I am, I can change that to bend the reality on the outside and whatever I am on the inside is reflective of my outer world. Whereas the person who is non-awakened, we will look to the outer world as a validation of who they are. When things go wrong, they will refer to that as being a point of them, they will live relationally. So the word is relational. A non-awakened person lives with relation to the others. A awakened person lives with self-reverence. So you live from a place of inside out. A non-awakened person is from outside, pretty much outside with a very little inside. Hope this helps. There will be more so much love. Take care.